Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I found this really fun plugin online for Cinema 4D and wanted to share it with you. Uh, this is by Code Vonk. Actually, if you go to the website, it'll probably show up in French, but we can toggle English in the top right corner here. And this plugin is called Gelatine, and it's pretty similar to the Jiggle Deformer, but it's a lot faster and easier to use and set up and everything. Uh, so let's jump into Cinema 4D. So I have this cache register, has a little bit of an animation in right here. Let's say that we want it to wobble a little bit. If we were going to use the Jiggle Deformer, we'd have to do a little bit of work in this model because it's not a polygon model, it's a bunch of different elements. We'd have to maybe put this in a fracture or whatever, but if we're using the plugin Gelatine, all we have to do is put that inside of our model and already it's going to work um, just out of the gate. So we have a little bit of a nice jiggle wobble here. You can see that uh, we're kind of breaking in the front here. So we're gonna need to modify this a little bit. Gelatine comes with fall off um, just out of the gate. You can see this bounding box or sphere rather. So if we don't want it to affect the front little piece of this so it doesn't intersect with itself, we'll just move the fall off back a little bit. And then this should work a little bit better. Let's check it out. Yeah, so then uh, you can see that the key and the front panel isn't sort of uh, breaking into itself. We move it back just a little bit more. And then for the parameters, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. We have intensity, so we can drop that down a little bit so it doesn't wobble quite as much. But you can see that you're getting some really cool uh, jiggle and wobble effects as it's animating in. You can also rotate this um, piece. I think they showed that in the, the samples here. If you have a rotation, you can see some of that. Uh, kind of wobble on there. It's a really nice effect if you're doing some sort of infographic elements and having them animate on. Uh, but back to the parameters here. So we also have a point selection, which unlocks a point selection slot if you wanted to paint on a vertex map and have this only affect a certain part of your model. That's another way that you could do that, but we'll leave it at source. Then obviously we can change the inner radius and the outer radius, and that will just kind of dial in what parts of your model are going to have the elastic parts on them. Um, and then obviously we have uh, elasticity, make it a little more elastic, firmness, absorption is going to kind of slow down the jiggle a little bit. So it'll just kind of, whoa, yeah, that's a little bit too much, but if you want a little bit, you can just kind of slow it down a little bit. So that's pretty cool. And then we have an F curve for kind of just tweaking things a little bit if we want to really dial it in and modify things. So there you go. That is our Gelatine plugin from Code Vonk. I definitely encourage you to check this out. It's a lot of fun to play around with. It's a lot easier to set up than the Jiggle Deformer, and you can use it with complex models very quickly. So that's it for me. Get this plugin, enjoy it. Thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab, and we will talk to you next time. Au revoir, because of the French thing. See ya.